Hi there traders! Hello, welcome to InstaForex TV channel. This edition will be presented by us, Tahmina Salomova. And Ekaterina Stikhina. You are watching the currency and commodity markets roundup for the latest week. What trends were dominate in the forex market before the weekend? On Friday, the US dollar advanced above a two-week high against its main counterparts. What did investors prefer going long the US dollar? Traders were encouraged by a stronger than expected increase in consumer prices in the United States. Besides, investors are praised for monetary policy meetings in the United States and the Japan this week. On Friday, the inflation report showed that US CPI grew by 0.2% in August, beating expectations for a 0.1% rise. The annual pace of growth jumped 1.1%. Core consumer prices, which exclude volatile components like food and energy prices rose 0.3% month-on-month and 2.3% on a yearly basis. The positive statistics could uh, prompt uh, the US Federal Reserve to venture into the rate hike this year. The US dollar surged almost 0.8% versus the euro on Friday's late rate to 1.1155. The single European currency shed 0.7% last week. On the same day, the yen's retreat was limited as investors do not expect the Bank of Japan to introduce sharp changes in its quantitative easing program. The regulator will halt a monetary policy meeting also on September 2021. Most experts think Japan's central bank is likely to focus on negative interest rates rather than a revision of uh, the asset buying program. Meanwhile, the pound selling collapsed uh, to the lowest level since August 17. The pound closed at 1.301 against the US dollar on Friday. Last Thursday, the Bank of England kept monetary policy on hold. The governor made the comment that the key interest rate could be cut lower in November if necessary. As a result, the British pound came under bearish pressure and lost 267 peeps in the whole week. This is all about current trends in the forex market. Thank you for your review, Ekaterina. You're welcome, Tahmina. And uh, who took the lead in the commodity market last week? Commodity assets were under pressure. And what fuel to sell-offs? An increase in the number of drilling rigs in the United States and a stronger dollar. On Friday, oil futures fell sharply. The reason for decline was the continuing increase of drilling activity in the United States and a boost in exports from the OPEC countries. Brent futures for November delivery fell in price by 1.76% to settle at $45.77 per barrel. Over the week, these contracts lost 4.67% amid growing concerns about a possible rise on oil supplies from Libya. And Nigeria. On the New York Mercantile Exchange, WTI crude oil for delivery in October closed at the level of $43.03 per barrel, down by 2%. For the week, prices fell by 6.2%. On Friday, Baker Hughes reported that the number of the U.S. oil drilling rigs advanced by 2 to 416 units. In the gold market, price for the yellow metal fell below a two-week low on Friday. The strength of the greenback and uncertainty around the Fed's meeting played against the precious metal. On the COMEX division of the New York Mercantile Exchange, December gold futures fell in price to $1,310.20 per troy ounce. Over the week, gold prices dropped by 1.83%. Tahmina, thank you for the commodity market review. You're welcome, Ekaterina. You watched the weekly currency and commodity market review on InstaForex TV. It was presented to you by us, Ekaterina Stikhina and Tahmina Salomova. Have a great day. See you.